A Russian boy named Boriska attracted worldwide attention a few years ago when he claimed that he was actually from the planet Mars. Boris Kipranovich, or Boriska, was born on January 11, 1996 in the city of Volsky. According to his mother, since he was four years old he used to visit a nearby mountain in order to fulfill his energy needs. Proudreport.com reports. Boriska's parents, nice, educated and hospitable people, are worried about their son's fascinating talents. They do not know how others will perceive Boriska when he grows up. The say that they would be happy to consult an expert to know how to raise their wonder kind. Being a doctor, his mother could not help but notice that the baby boy could hold his head already in 15 days after his birth. He uttered the first word Bubba when he was four months old and started to pronounce simple words soon afterwards. At one year and a half he had no difficulties in reading newspaper headlines. At age of two years he started drawing and leaned how to paint six months later. When he turned two, he started going to a local kindergarten. Tutors immediately noticed the unusual boy, his uncommon quick-wittedness, language skills and unique memory. However, his parents witnessed that Boriska acquired knowledge not only from the outer world, but through mysterious channels as well. They saw him reading unknown information from somewhere. No one has ever taught him, Boriska's mother said. Sometimes he would sit in a lotus position and start telling us detailed facts about Mars, planetary systems and other civilizations, which really puzzled us, the woman said. How may a little boy know such things? Space became the permanent theme of his stories when the boy turns two years old. Once he said that he used to live on Mars himself. He says that the planet is inhabited now too, although it lost its atmosphere after a mammoth catastrophe. The Martians live in underground cities, Boriska says. The boy also says that, he used to fly to Earth for research purposes when he was a Martian. Moreover, he piloted a spaceship himself. It took place in the time of the Lemurian civilization. He speaks about the fall of Lemuria as if it occurred yesterday. He says that Lemurians died because they ceased to develop themselves spiritually and broke the unity of their planet. When his mother brought him a book entitled Whom We Are Originated from by Ernest Muldashev, he got very excited about it. He spent a long time looking through the sketches of Lemurians, pictures of Tibetan pagodas, and then he told his parents of Lemurians and their culture for several hours non-stop. As he was talking, his mother noticed that Lemurians lived 70,000 years ago and they were 9 meters tall how can you remember all this question mark the woman asked her son. Yes, I remember and nobody has told me that, I saw it comma Boriska replied. In Muldashev's second book In Search of the City of Gods he looked through pictures for a long time and recollected a lot about pyramids and shrines. Then he claimed that people would not find ancient knowledge under the Great Pyramid of Cheops. The knowledge will be found under another pyramid, which has not been discovered yet. The human life will change when the Sphinx is opened, it has an opening mechanism somewhere behind the ear, I do not remember exactly comma he said. Boriska is one of so-called indigo children. They start to appear on Earth as a token of the forthcoming grand transformation of the planet.